Good afternoon. Uh, I was just I was making some videos about priests and things, and I was reminded of a friend of mine in Tokyo. Uh, and uh, he used to he used to deal drugs in Tokyo. And I didn't know not when I was not when I was working with him. He changed his life around. And uh, but one day when I was working there. This guy came into the bar. This is how I found this out. This guy came into the bar. He was an American uh, a steward or stewardess or halfway between on the airplanes. And he goes, I've heard you, got so he goes, oh, I've heard you can give me something special. And I thought he was talking about my uh, uh, excellent margaritas, which were really, really good because we used all fresh ingredients and uh, we made them strong. And so I gave him one. Uh, not I gave him one. I gave him a margarita. And... Uh, and then he asked for another one. And then he gave me a tip. And uh, so I gave him another strong one. He was really drunk. And I gave him another one. And uh, and then he came, no, he said, no, what, I, I, want, I want drugs. I go, what? I said, no. And so he, because he'd been told that the drug dealer worked at La Mex, LA Mex, the Mexican restaurant. And that was my friend. And that's how I found out. And I said, no, what are you talking about? I said, so I just gave him his money back, his tip. And he ended up throwing up all over the place anyway. So I don't think that drugs would have been good for him. So, uh, but no, it's un generally Americans don't believe me when they say I've never taken drugs. And uh, apart from, I used to work with an epileptic and he gave me some uppers once. <laughs> And I took them when I went out, and it did put me in a really good mood. I wasn't sure if there was even a placebo, but I really, just the thought of it, it's like that uh, film with Ma Samuel Jackson. If you think you're getting something like naughty or something like that, it, it affects your psyche. And, and I think that's what they should do with all drug dealers, is just take a placebo, you know, just believe it's good and just have a good time, you know. But so, and I did have a good time, but he gave me some more and, uh, and it wasn't the same the second time. So uh, maybe it just was a, a placebo. I don't know. But anyway, so no, I've only taken drugs by uh, default when they've been putting food, uh, or cakes in New Zealand and America. Now, one time when in New Zealand, they put it in a cake and I was got really, par I got really paranoid when uh, this happened to me. And in America, they put something in the cake, and I tried to throw my friend off the fifth floor of this building. So that was real. That was really scary. So it's a good job that he managed to resist. Or so I still might be in a bloody American prison. And the time after that, I was in a. Uh, I was in Lamex with Patrick, and someone had been smoking. Someone had been smoking dope in the toilet, and we used the toilet. And uh, we both got, we both inhaled this stuff, and we were just like laughing his heads off the rest of the night, you know. So, like I say, if uh, marijuana, it's just, it depends on your mood, how you feeling. And uh, once you had a really good experience from it, because if you're in a good mood generally, you know it's going to be good. But if you're in a bad mood generally, it's going to be bad. So, but my advice is, don't take them. And you might think I'm talking, you know, but like I say, it does lead one thing to another. And and if you go in, for example, now in England, they're taking marijuana, then they take a stronger type and it fucks people's minds up. It really does. So uh, keep away from it, especially meth. OK, that's my 10 penneth on it. Bye bye.